Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and get our Raspberry Pi 4 set up with Stooge's updated script here. Um, it does include a web interface, which will allow us to send payloads remotely over. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just jump right into the video here. Uh, there's a number of Raspberry Pis that you can use. Um, the one that we'll be using is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. So if we jump down here, uh, it does give us the installation. This is the only thing that we're going to need. Um, we don't need to actually copy files over anymore. If you don't have Goal 10 set up, you will have to uh, put Goal 10. You can go ahead and just download Goal 10 and put it on the root of a USB and go ahead and launch the jailbreak. But I think at this time, everybody does have Goal 10 set up. So we'll just go ahead and skip that for now. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and download our Raspberry Pi programmer. So if we minimize this and we go ahead and open up our Pi imager, just say yes to that. And we'll go ahead and plug in our SD card. Now it needs to be a micro SD as the micro SD will go into the Raspberry Pi. So we'll choose the device and we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi 4. Choose the OS, just go here to Raspberry Pi OS Other, and then we'll go ahead and choose the light version. And then storage. Now I only have one here. If you do have multiple, make sure that you are choosing the correct one as you don't want to delete any files that uh, you need. So this here device, it is mounted as G and H. Just, it's just one drive, so I know that. Go ahead and select it, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Here we're going to go ahead and go into edit settings. Now everything is uh, saved here from previous. Um, so we'll need to enter our host name. Uh, just echo stretch is fine.local. You can have it whatever you want. Uh, username and password. I just usually just put in echo echo, which is fine. I'll be connecting to the 2.4G. I don't think the Raspberry Pi does 5G, so you will have to uh, switch it to the to the 2.4. Uh, as for the password for that there, just delete that out and we can put that password in as well. And then you can choose down here, keyboard layout, uh, time zone. Jump over to our services and we wanna make sure that we do have the SSH uh, enabled. From there just go ahead and hit save and then apply the settings by saying yes and it's just confirming that the USB will be deleted so we'll go ahead and say yes to that as well. Now this can take a little bit of time so we're gonna go ahead and just let it go. Okay so we're just about done 99% once it does hit the verifying we can go ahead and just cancel the verifying as we don't need to verify it It'll finalize and everything will be done. So we'll hit cancel on that, hit OK, close that out. Hit continue on that, and we can close that out as well. From there, we can go ahead and unplug our micro SD from the computer, plug it in our Raspberry Pi, and we'll go ahead and plug in the Ethernet cable to our Raspberry Pi, plug it into the back of the PS4, and then we'll plug in our USB cable to the PS4 and plug in the USB side to our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we're over to our PS4 and we do have everything plugged in, we'll jump into our settings, go to network, set up internet connection. We'll use the LAN cable, go to custom. Okay, and then we'll go to PPPOE. Go ahead and insert a password and a username Hit next, DNS will be automatic, MTU settings will be automatic, and proxy server will be do not use. Okay, so we don't need to go ahead and hit connect test connection, we can be back out of there, as the Raspberry Pi will do everything on its own. Um, so now we just need to go ahead and get the Raspberry Pi set up. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we'll go ahead and open up PuTTY. We'll go ahead and type in the echo stretch.local. Go ahead and make sure SSH is selected. And we can go ahead and hit open. 
Now, if it doesn't open up for you right away, just give it a few minutes. It does take the Raspberry Pi 4 just a little bit of time to get connected to the network, but once it does, you should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and type in echo for the username and the password is echo as well. And you can see that we do get our prompt. Now, if we go ahead and open up Stooges GitHub here, we have all our commands here. You can go ahead and just select the copy button and it copies them all. So we'll go ahead and minimize that and we'll just go ahead and paste it in just like so. Go ahead and hit enter and we just sit back and wait for it to finish. It will do all the commands for you. So there's no need to actually do each one, one at a time. Okay, so once it's done, we will be prompt with a few questions here. First one, do you want to enable the option to use Python, which is slower? So we're gonna say no to that because we wanna use the C++ one. Next question is, do you want your console to connect to the internet after PPP? Uh, we're gonna say no to that as well. If you do want it to connect to the internet, you can go ahead and say yes. Uh, it is set up to block the update server, so your PS4 will not uh, connect and update. But for the video, we're going to stick with no. And do you want your Pi to shut down after Pwn is success? Uh, yes, we do, because we don't need it running anymore. Um, if you plan on using the Python script on it, then you can go ahead and say no to this here to keep it running. And then once you do go into the the uh, website, then you can go ahead and shut it down once you're done. So we'll we'll say no, and I will show you that. Are you using a USB Ethernet adapter? The Pi 4 comes with an adapter attached to it, so we're not going to be plugging in a USB one. But if you were to use one of the other ones, then you would have to say yes to that. So we'll say no. And would you like to change the firmware version being used? The default is 11. So we're gonna say no to that because we are using 11.00. And would you like to change the Pi LAN interface? So default is the ETH zero, which is the one that we will be using. So we're just gonna keep that as the same. So we'll say no to changing it. Do you want the Pi to act as a flash drive to the console? Uh, we're going to say no to that as well. Okay, and then we are done. So we'll give it a few minutes to apply the settings. And we will get an error at the end, but do not worry. The Pi will start rebooting and we should be good. So let's go ahead and jump over to the PS4. Okay, now that we're over to the PS4, We'll give it a few minutes here for the Raspberry Pi to boot up. It shouldn't take very long and we should get a message not connected. And uh, if it is successful the first time, we will get a following message saying pwned and then Goal 10 will load. Now, if you don't have Goal 10 already on, then you will need to copy it over to the root of the USB and then put it in the PS4 when you do do the jailbreak. Now we got our message. And there we go. There's goal 10 loaded up. Okay, so the payload is successfully loaded. From there, we can go ahead and jump over to our normal network. So we're going to set up internet connection and we'll go ahead and use Wi-Fi. Now it does remember the settings, so we'll leave that and just say yes. Give it a few minutes here to switch over. There we go. If you can go to view connection status, you can see I do already have the primary DNS set up for pneumatics DNS. So I don't need to worry about the PS4 updating. So we'll back out of there. If we go up to our settings, go into our user guide and select the user guide. You can see that it will automatically redirect us to the seven one host. And then from here we can jump on chameleons host and go ahead and launch any payload that we want. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the computer and we'll get into the web interface. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and open up a new tab and we'll just type in ppwn.local, go ahead and hit enter. And you can see this is the host that comes up for the Raspberry Pi. From here, we have a few options. 
Uh, we can hit load payloads and then it basically tells us to place the payloads in the folder called payloads on the USB drive and plug it into the Pi. You must, must also enable bin loader server in Gold 10. By default, the, the bin loader server is automatically loaded. So you should be good there. Back out of there. Switch it to different ethernets. Um, this computer only has one, so I only have one selected. Your firmwares, 9.0 or 11. You can change it. You can update the script to work with any firmware that is, is uh, frontable to it. So. Um, if you're using a USB Ethernet adapter, you can go ahead and check that. And then if you want to enable the console to have internet access afterwards, go ahead and select that as well. And then you can enable the USB drive. Um, your other options is to restart it and reboot the Pi. This is actually the board. But if you're all done in here and you don't need to do this, you can just go ahead and hit shut down the Pi because you already have the PS4 jailbroken. But other than that, guys, that's basically it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.